here we have a representation of the vessel of the seachlor. On the blue lines here, this is the representation of our anode. And on the red lines, this is the representation of our cathode. The seawater will be coming in this direction here and passing through the vessel. At the same time, a DC current will be applied to the electrode and then the reaction will be occurring on this area here of the vessel. Here a more uh, detailed uh, system on how the seachlor actually works. So if we go from the beginning where the seawater is located, you will have the water intake that is going to be pumping all the water into the system. You might require a booster pump, depending on your application, what pressure you have in your pipes. This seawater would then be screened into up to 500 micron, which then can be fed into the seachlor electrolyzers, which are represented here in yellow. The system will also be fed with electricity, as I mentioned before. These are transformer rectifiers. You have probably in your application uh, 380, 440 volts availability and the seachlor requires DC current. That's why we put in the rectifier here in order to have this optimal current for the application. Once the reaction is done, the mixture of uh, hypochlorite 0.2% plus hydrogen gas will be leaving the system when this green line here represents and is going to be stored in a tank. A water device here, hydrogen, for those of you who don't know, hydrogen is a highly explosive gas. So we have a security system which is uh, made by air blowers, which will blow air into the tank. The objective of that is to keep the low explosive uh, level of hydrogen, which is 4% concentration in contact with air, uh, always below this, uh, this value. So you pump air, you blow air actually into the tank, and we'll keep this uh, percentage of mixture below 1%, meaning that the system are, is always safe to being operated. It is also automated in a way that if there's a failure with the dilution blowers, the system will shut down in order to keep the safety uh, above everything else. The hypochlorite uh, solution here would then be pumped by dosing pumps into your application area, be it in the water intake, or any other area like the heat exchanger you're gonna be using. Just a representation, here we have the control panel and anything also can be connected in your uh, motor control center.